personal greeting while boarding a flight to India from the German economics minister. Rainer Brüdele is again traveling in support of the German economy. This time Brüdele will spend 42 hours in India. The Indian economy is booming and Rainer Brüdele wants to open some doors. We're not always good at sales. Germans are often perfectionists in mechanical engineering and many other sectors. But some other countries are better at sales. It's not enough to have good products. We also need to be good at selling them. And that involves making contacts and promoting cordial relations, such as here at a reception at the German embassy in Delhi. Rainer Brüdele is in his element. He spent many years preparing for his dream job of German economics minister. When he took office a year ago, Brüdele got off to a rocky start. His detractors called him a lightweight and a complete failure. But Brüdele stood by his convictions, even opposing Chancellor Merkel on occasion. His opposition to state aid for carmaker Opel earned him new respect. And Brudele also came out on top in the debate on extending the lifespans of Germany's nuclear power plants. Entscheidend ist, dass man What's key is being at one with your own principles and convictions. And you need stamina. Politics isn't easy. You have to be able to take some knocks. I've had some experience with that in my political career over the years. If you haven't gone through some hard times, then you won't have the skills needed to achieve success. Brüdele is also reaping the benefits of Germany's surprisingly good recovery from the global economic crisis. The political opposition says Brüdele had little to do with the rebound because the path to recovery was laid when the SPD was still part of the coalition government. Do you know what you are, Mr. Brüdele? The greatest opportunist we've seen in politics in a long while, and that's all you are. In India, Brüdele's job is promoting German companies. At home, his job is creating a favorable environment for economic growth. Brüdele sees his role as a watchdog, working for limited government and strengthening the hand of the social market economy. He likes to call the economics minister the regulatory conscience of the government. Brüdele has clearly found his niche, even if he sometimes encounters resistance from the chancellor. The issue isn't whether the Chancellor supports me. An economics minister in this coalition government needs to incorporate his own ideas and those of his party, his allies. And that's going quite well. In Mumbai, the governor is due to arrive. On his official appearances, Rainer Brüdele likes to take the opportunity to promote small and mid-sized businesses. For Brüdele, strong mid-sized enterprises are the key to economic success and he welcomes every chance to sing their praises. I remember my own father, who wouldn't lay anyone off unless things were really going badly. It's a different mentality. Mid-sized business people aren't mercenary managers who sell cars one day, rain boots the next, and themselves the day after. His message finds a receptive audience in India. He speaks very openly, and he's knowledgeable. He's an economist, and as a local businessman, I can see that he represents our interests. The final appointment in India is a gala reception at the local German Chamber of Commerce, the parting gift to Indian good luck charms. Which will also help you to be a wealthy man. <laughs> Not by money, but by feelings. <laughs> On his final evening in India, Rainer Brüdele seems to enjoy his role as Germany's economics minister to the full.